already know when my daughter gets to college, she's gonna be leading all the protesters and all the marches, you know? God, I call her Kennedy Kaepernick. She's Christ. She's serious with her shit, you know? Like, my, my daughter got mad at me last year because I stood up, I stood up during the national anthem. She goes, you just gonna stand? I go, it's the seventh grade volleyball game. Let's break it down just a little bit, okay? Yeah, there's 18 people in a junior high gym, okay? Welcome back to Now or Never. Rich Davis, Steve Cavino, we're here. There he is. Comedian, Gary Owen, what's up, man? See it? You see it? <laughs> we all see you it, man. See it? I do see it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know Gary Owen, he's one of those comedians that you just looking at you makes me laugh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're one of those guys, man. Is that but, a compliment? You want to punch him in the nose? Nah, that's why I never made him football. <laughs> be lying up against somebody. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, were you a good athlete growing up or no? Because I know you're way into sports. Didn't no. you wrestle or something? Oh, I was I was 3 and 30 my high school wrestling career. No, is that serious? Yeah, I beat the same guy three times. No. One guy, his name was Nathan Eby. I'll never forget his name. <laughs> What's up, Nathan Eby? The, the reason I know his worst name. Worst wrestler ever. Let me tell you the worst why I know his name. Because his name was spelled E-B-Y. And, right. you know, wrestling, you get the brackets. Right. So one time I got, like, second place in this tournament because I had to buy the first round. I wrestled Nathan E-B the second round. So I'm also in the finals of this wrestling tournament. And I was like, and then I came on the show with Mom. I go, look, Mom, I got second. She goes, you had to buy away the finals. And I go, no, I didn't. And I looked at it. I go, oh, his name is spelled by, misspelled. It's oh, E-B-Y. Right, and I'm like, right. no, I didn't. That's a real person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. tell us about the new Showtime special. People that are big fans of you, I'm sure, are excited. Yeah, we taped it in San Antonio, and it's the it's pretty much the greatest comedy special of all time. Of all time, yeah. Yeah. doing what I do. It's like watching Jordan play. Right. That's like in that, '93. Aren't you like? Don't you have like a love hate thing with, with Michael Jordan? Speaking of, what don't do you, you kind of hate him, or do you like? I him? used to hate him. You used yeah. to hate him, but now you. Love I, him? Here's the thing. I I started watching basketball when like Georgetown had Ewing and all that. Right. Yeah. So then when he went to the Knicks, I go, Ewing's my guy. So I was always rooting for the Knicks and Ewing, yeah. but Jordan was always beating them. Yeah. And then uh, when LeBron came along, that's when I said, okay, I'm going to ride this way. Because he's an Ohio guy too. Oh, right, right. I was like, I'm just going to ride with LeBron the whole way. So I'm, I'm, wherever LeBron goes, I kind of root for him. So you got the comedy special, you got the tour, but I, I want to talk about how you got there too. How did you sort of infiltrate your way into this sort of demographic where you are palling around with a lot of these professional athletes? You mean the yeah. hashtag... Uh, Black America's favorite white comic. How yeah. does one exactly. make this happen? It's like Carl Malone, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the no, Carl Malone of comedy. Seriously. How did that all happen for you? I know you had a show on BET, but is that yeah. where it kind of started? Well, I mean, my first I mean, my first three years, I was doing, only network I was on was BET. Doing right. stand-up. Like, I hosted Comic View. Uh, that's, where, that's where people got to know me, was Black Entertainment Television. And then when I started doing movies... And I don't know if it was by chance, but it was like every movie I did had a black lead actor. Right. Like it was, it started with Held Up with Jamie Foxx and then Rebound with Martin Lawrence and Little Man with the Wayans Brothers and Daddy Daycare with Eddie Murphy and obviously the Think Like a Man. That's and everything. not a coincidence. So you think maybe at the time, I mean, you're just a naturally funny guy, but was your comedy sort of just hitting that demographic? And that's who was ex that I mean I was that's who was exposed to me so obviously when you go on the road right. the people buying your tickets are, are mostly black people right so you gotta I, I say there's a difference between playing and pandering to your audience right and because yeah. playing to your audience is if I'm at Showtime at the Apollo I'm not talking about Garth Brooks right you know exactly. pandering is like you see people you start becoming somebody you're not because right, of right, who's right, in the audience right. so I don't. I just. I always say you don't choose your audience; they choose you. And it just sort of happened. As long as you got a you. audience, somebody's yeah. buying tickets to see you. That's important. You were on Russell Westbrook's comedy tour, right? He uh, had a he had a charity event. Russell Westbrook. Charity Westbrook's. event, yeah. like Shaquille O'Neal's comedy tour. Yeah. So you've palled around with a lot of cool random. Me and Shaq guys. had a show on on True TV back in 2012. And what's it's that called? Is upload. That really, what's that relationship like now? Is that me like, and Shaq? You shoot him a text message. Yeah. yeah. Shaq uh, introduced me to my wife. No way. Yeah. Dude. All right. So you know what? I like this. Tell us the story. How did it oh. happen? So oh, yeah. I just got to L.A. Yeah. And when Shaq was playing for the Lakers, and he had a clothing line called Twism. And okay. it stood for the world is mine. And if you guys look at old picture of Shaq, he had this big medallion. And it was his hand over this earth. And it was that was this symbol for Twism. So I'm on stage, open mic, and Shaq comes to the show, brings a couple of his staff members out. So my wife was there. And I wanted to meet Shaq after the show, but I ended up meeting her too. So And the rest right. is history. And I used to always go to the... Um, uh, warehouse. He had a warehouse in Compton where the the, the clothes were, and I just go house them. My wife would come and be like, "Nobody's here. Come on over." I just <laughs> be great. grabbing all this Twism gear. <laughs> I was so mad when he left. Right. I go, "What?" 
I gotta, I gotta buy clothes. The pictures from back then all have Twism. You every twism. every every <laughs> everywhere I went, it was Twism. Oh, that's funny, that's man. Great. Shorts, shirts, drawers, everything. Now, when it comes to the uh, the NFL, you're a big Bengals guy, and and I know you're you have such a soft spot for this team. Are you a Niners hater? I'm a Niners fan, but I, I think back to my childhood. That's who they beat twice in the Super Bowl. So, are mm-hmm. you like a, a secret Montana hater? Is Jerry Rice you have a voodoo doll? Like, nah, I was, and here's what's crazy. Montana came to see me in Syracuse. His son was playing for um, Tulane. Yeah, someone's playing at Tulane, and yeah. they're playing Syracuse. So I'm in the hotel lobby. I see Joe Montana, his son, and his wife. So I went up to him. I said, hey, uh, after the game, it's Saturday. There's not a lot to do in Syracuse. I said, if you guys want to come to the show, you're more than welcome. He called and came. Wow. And, like, Joe, wow. like, sat in the green room, got a, n- a normal seat. We didn't want no VIP treatment. Then afterwards, you know, comics, we hustle merch. Yeah. He bought the merch. Wow. He bought T-shirts. Wow. Then he went a step further. So we got a picture, right? And then his guy took a picture that was with him. All of a sudden, a month later, in the mail, I get a picture blown up with the Joe Montana seal at the bottom. And he signed it, like, thanks for the laughs and the invite. How cool is so that? So it went from, I hate the Niners and right. Joe, and I'm like, ah. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Good, if they're going to lose, you're at the I'm, not ma- I'm not mad at anymore. Yeah, you like the players for who they are. Yeah. Like, hey, that, now you're a professional, right? You got lots of fans, lots of celebrity fans, uh, 1.5 million followers on Instagram. But are there people in the audience that could rattle you and get to your, get to your nerves a little bit and make you nervous? Like, when you see Joe Montana there, it doesn't even phase you at this point. Nah, I get, that gets my juices going. It does. Yeah, it gets you fired up. I like that, and I like seeing the the ball players because I kind of go at them. Right. Yeah. The one the one that we became friends because it was was Kenya Martin because you know he's went to UC. I'm a Cincinnati yeah. guy. He Shaq and D Wade used to do. Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Alonzo Mourning and Dwayne Wade used to do Zoe Summer Groove mm-hmm. in Miami, and uh, there's always be NBA players there, and Kenya was in. The audience and I didn't know, and I'm going. I'm making fun of him. I'm making fun of his stutter right. and everything. And all of a sudden, he stood up, and I went, "You're here." <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of my set, I went, "Oh, you're here!" Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. And from then on, we've been cool. Like yeah, that's that, he introduced. That's how I met Kenya Martin. That's awesome. That's so fantastic. Gary Owen, 1.5 million followers on social media. Like I said, that's just your Instagram. Yeah. And uh, we went to your Instagram and we found. Something. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, you love to mock folks on Instagram doing what I do, like because people uh-huh. really over exaggerate their life yeah but you're a guy that does big things so i want to go over some of these pictures here let's start with this one right here where'd you get that one no oh, uh, uh, these, yeah. these are some pictures of you so here what uh, what, what are we looking at here i had a mullet you see the mullet <laughs> yeah yeah There's i Jackson see in the back what i wore the i uh i was just riding the bench that year but i was uh i wore the neck brace because of eric dickerson yeah he was my favorite yes. running yep, back yep, back yep, in the yep. day uh i don't know why i was 58 i can't remember but I have braces, that's why the mouth isn't open. Nice. And speaking of my high school, they're 4-0. Oh, good. Right now, Talawanda Braves in look Oxford, Ohio. But look at that, he's mean mugging. That's what you're supposed to do. I yep. like that. I what like about that. this one? What do we got there? Look at that. Oh, that was, I was in a Navy Honor Guard. We did uh, all the parades and funerals. Right. Lot of times. He's in the U.S. Navy Honor Guard. And that guy's name is Danny Diaz, and he lives in St. Louis right now. We're still in touch. Yeah. That's the beauty of Facebook. That is awesome. But that's 18 years old. Look yeah, and the troops still go wild for you, right? You still perform. Yeah, yeah, I go, I go overseas a lot. And do that's shows awesome, on military man. bases. Really right. cool. What about this? Oh, that's the worst one. Uh oh, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Your yeah. life as a Bengals. This fan. this is last year. Speaking of Antonio Brown, the Steelers. Yeah. This is last year when the Bengals went up 21-20, and there was like a minute and a half left. And I go, I've seen this movie. The Titanic sinks every time, and then Antonio Brown caught the touchdown. Yeah, we lost. Think, no, I'm thinking you're such a successful comedian, like. You should have better seats than that, no? I feel like you're like way up there. <laughs> oh. Well, no, this is staged. Yeah. This is I told yeah, my guy, everybody left. He moved up. And look yeah. at my robe. A fan gave me that robe. Uh, a fan gave me a, a nice custom-made robe. robe, and it's got Owen on the back and my high school number on there. You still got it? I still, I wear it to all the games. Oh, wow. If okay. I go to a bingo game, I wear it. All right, here we go. There you go. Well, look at that, your best friend? D-Wade. Yeah. Hey, aside from Joe Montana, you have any white friends or no? Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton, Andy Dalton baby. Andy Dalton. I go all white. I go red. Right. <laughs> if I'm, if you gonna be white, you gotta be powder white. Right, right, Super. How right. did, I mean, is that is this a guy that you have on standby? Like, if you're if you're in town, if he's in town, you get together with D Wade. 
No, the, uh, yeah. yeah, this I remember this. This was Chris Botch's birthday party. He That's always do awesome. these big bashes. Yeah, and we I used to always uh, roast them. We I roast the What's team. What's the relationship really like, though? I mean, it's he's a nice great guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwayne and Gab. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, Gab. Gab. I, <laughs> Gabrielle <laughs> Union. I'm sorry. You know, Gab. D Wade and Gab. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, he's in. He's yeah. In. Hold You're on. In. I start. Right. I start naming all fake nicknames. Yeah. You know, Lily, LeBron. <laughs> right. You know, his friends call him Lily. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, Dwayne's great. He's a good guy. That's awesome. You were there when the when the injury happened to Boogie? No, nah, this was uh, his his buddy called me and was like, dude, he's he was rehabbing in L.A. and he was like, there's just he's nothing to do. He can't go out, can't do anything. So I just went up to the house and surprised him, and we watched uh, a couple of basketball games and hung out. Dude, look at Did you. he know you were coming? No, he didn't know. We just kind of showed <laughs> up. Oh, oh well, more, more 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 name and face drops. There we go. Paul George. <laughs> Is this uh, this is L.A. Clipper Paul George now? This is when he was Oklahoma City. This is this is that Russell Westbrook's charity event. By the way, you said uh, you said you sort of follow LeBron. I met I, Stephen Adams here, but I didn't get a picture with him because he was uh, white. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you're not white enough. Be, 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 we're not taking a picture after this, by the way. Um, do you think the Lakers or Clippers are the L.A. team to beat this year? Because you, you seem to have the in here. I'm rooting for the Lakers, uh, but I do think Kawhi is going to bring. Uh, multiple titles to the Clippers. Did you see their fishing trip? The Clippers yeah. went on like a team building fishing trip yesterday? Yeah. Oh, Come by up. the way, uh, one year anniversary, fun guy Kawhi when that laugh happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one year ago. Uh, look at you with a championship. There coach. it is. Well, Dude. I used to roast USC every year when Carol was there. Right. So this is the, the Reggie Bush, Matt Liner days, Frosty Rucker. Yeah. So uh, this was in Seattle last year, but uh, those roasts are legendary with USC players because there was no cameras, gloves were off, right. and what happened was the first year I did it in 2003, uh, all the comedians didn't do well. And I was like, man, and I looked, it's a bunch of 18 and 20 year old year old guys. They don't care about your kids, they don't care about your home loans, anything. But I was gonna just start bagging on people, and then they start bagging back. So then after that, it became like legendary, like, dude, Gary's coming. And I brought, I brought Kevin Hart one year to do it, and I, told, and I, I, I used to bring different comics, and I said, don't tell jokes. Don't, they don't care. You yeah. got to go in on them. Kevin up there trying to tell jokes one year. They were looking at him, oh. and then when he realized, oh, Gary went live, then when they started bagging, then it got good. But th those roasts, man, asking them USC players from their national title days, they were legendary. All right, man. Well, I want to thank you for being here because I know you're a busy guy doing what I do. Showtime, thank you. you guys got to look out for it. And the tour, right? Is it sold out, obviously? Right? I'm on the road every week. I always tell people just go to GaryOwen.com. That's the best That's way? All the links, all the tour dates are on all there. All your merch, all your everything. Everything. And Everything's all these cool there. photos are on his Instagram. It's Gary Owen Comedy. Yeah, right? scare me. How'd you get all these More than 5,000 yeah. photos of you with random people. Yeah. yeah. How did yes. you get these freaking yes. pictures? Honestly, man, pleasure. Thanks, man. Thank, Thank you, guys. Continue. Gary Appreciate Owen. Hashtag doing what, doing I do. what I do. More Covino and Rich. Now we're nevers. Next.